According to Genesis, God made a beautiful garden with our fruit trees and a river running through it, full of trout. In that garden, he also placed a tree of life and a tree of knowledge of good and evil. Then God made a man from the dirt, breathed life into him, and put him in that garden, saying, it's all you can eat, Adam, except from that tree over there. Do not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Leave it alone. Okie dokie, God, no problem. Just leave it to me. Yeah, right. Seeing that Adam was lonely, God made him go to sleep. He took a rib from Adam's side and made a woman named Eve, from it to be Adam's companion. They were naked, but not embarrassed because they didn't know anything naughty yet. Hello, my name is Eve. What's yours? <laughs> uh, actually, I'm not sure. Sometime later, a serpent approached Eve and said, You know the knowledge of evil tree? It is okay to eat from it. To I don't think Eve so. replied, Oh, sure, eat from it. You'll understand good and evil and become just like God. Well, okay, if you say so. tasty new fruit. And as they both ate the forbidden fruit, they suddenly became aware that they were naked. Yikes! So they <laughs> dove into the bushes to cover themselves with big leaves. Ouch! That's scratchy. Stop looking at me that way. Well, what way? You know what way, mister. A little while later, God came walking through the garden in the cool evening breeze. Adam, Eve, where are you? Adam, Eve! Of course, God being all-knowing knew exactly where they were and what they had done. We hear God, but we were afraid to show our faces. Afraid? Afraid of what? You didn't eat from the tree of good and evil, did you? Oh, yeah. But it was her! She gave it to me! Uh, it was a serpent! She tricked me! Uh. But God was not easily fooled. First got mad at the serpent. And furthermore, you shall crawl on your belly forevermore. And then, God got mad at Adam and Eve. And as for you two, it's thorns, thistles, and labor pain for you from here on out. God threw them out of the Garden of Eden to live difficult lives. Taxes? What's this all about taxes? You say a baby is going to come out. Where? And he placed an angel with a flaming sword at the garden entrance to keep them from coming back. Oh boy, they must have been some sight. Now you might think that was rather harsh of God to do that, getting mad and throwing them out. But just before he did it, God made them some fur clothes and hunting vests. And about a thousand pages later, Jesus came and died on the cross as a sign of God's forgiveness to the descendants of Adam and Eve. And he promised them a new garden called the Kingdom of God. But that's another story.